Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and assalamu alaikum everyone. In the past few sessions, we've been talking about uh, the role of different committees, uh, the different reports, uh, the combined uh, report, uh, how uh, we see that there is a little bit of difference between uh, the systems and the processes and the procedures uh, which are prevalent uh, in the UK and the USA, and how the implementation of the combined uh, code uh, can be ensured and enforced within a particular organization. So, uh, what we see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is that uh, another very important aspect uh, in all of the sessions that we've been conducting is the role of the audit committee. And uh, again, this audit committee uh, becomes a very powerful institution within uh, a corporate structure and its role uh, basically is very fundamental uh, in the rollout and the assurance and insurance of the corporate governance stipulation. So, this audit committee has a pivotal role uh, in the whole corporate governance structure which exists within organizations. Now, uh, what we see is, is that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that the audit committee, all members are independent non-executive directors, INEDs, and most importantly, the chairman of the audit committee should be an IND, that means an independent non-executive director. There can be one member of the committee uh, at least should have financial expertise and outside uh, professionals can also be hired if necessary if we see that the members of the uh, audit committee do not have the uh, level of professionalism, do not have the exposure or do not have the, uh, the accounting and the auditing regimen uh, or understanding within them. So, those outside professional or experts could also be hired to ensure that the functioning of the audit committee uh, is done in a proper way without compromising upon accountability and transparency. Now, responsibilities uh, basically include oversights of financial reporting, liaison with external auditors, ensuring regulatory compliance, monitoring the internal control processes and oversight of risk management. So, again, uh, like we've been talking in the previous sessions that there are various aspects of the corporation or the corporate body or institution uh, which need to be regulated and also reviewed on a regular basis. So, uh, the most important thing is, is the financial reporting which is seen by the committee. Uh, also, the fact that the internal auditors cannot work uh, in total isolation, but they can liaison with the external auditors with the help of the committee, uh, ensuring regulatory compliance uh, across the board in all the segments and amongst all of the stakeholders monitoring internal control processes, very important, not only financial, but like uh, earlier said, all internal control processes uh, have to be monitored by the committee and then an oversight of risk management to ensure that the uh, future of the organization is more stable and more predictable. Uh, the terms of reference basically that are stipulated are that there should be measures for protecting the assets of the organization. There should be review on a quarterly, half yearly and annual financial basis. The External auditor should be facilitated by the audit committee. There should be assessment of management uh, letters and also guaranteeing free communication. So, all of these things have to be ensured uh, by the committee to ensure better functioning, better working, better performance, better productivity of the organization on a long term basis uh, by again minimizing risk and optimizing performance. Uh, another thing that we see is, is that there are certain best practices. Uh, and that basically is about managing its own agenda, and the frequency of interaction between the management, uh, regular executive sessions and regular evaluation. So, these different best practices ensure that the audit committee works in a better way and that it is further strengthened and reinforced uh, in these uh, key areas. Uh, the best practices have been established in different regions and based upon those best practices, uh, these are the areas uh, which the company and the uh, board and the audit committee must be functioning in the most optimal way so that there is longevity of the organization uh, that it is looking after. Thank you so much.